Uh, so we're going to look at criminal law. Criminal law. So, and we already looked at the definition of criminal. So, uh, definition of criminal, we already looked at it. So, allow me to go to the meaning and scope of criminal. It is a body of rules that defines conduct of that is prohibited by law. So when we're talking about criminal law, we're talking about a body of rules. You know we said uh, constitution is uh, laws are set of rules and regulation. So criminal law is, is like a, a section of all part of the laws that we know of, Ken of Kenya. And when we're talking about now criminal law, we're saying a criminal law is a set of rules. That portion that deals with offenses that are prohibited by the law. Offenses like which one? Murder. Sundeo. What? Any other? What do you know? Rape. Uh huh. Rape. Uh huh. Any other that you know? Stop chewing. Selling of bar or drug trafficking and so on and so forth. Those kind of uh, crimes. Uh huh. It involves the prosecution for an action that has been classified as a crime. It involves prosecution of an action that has been classified as a crime. So there are those actions that if you commit, it is a crime. Crime. And we say the crime is a what? It's a wrong against the public at large. A wrong against the public at large. So by, by, by committing such an issue or by committing such an act, you have wronged the whole of Kenya. The whole of Kenya, or the community of Kenya, or the public of Kenya at large. At large. It is enforced by the state, unlike civil laws, which may be enforced by private parties. This one is enforced by the state. So it is the state that is going to follow you. You nilo serikali because once you com once you commit such a such a thing, it is the government that is going to follow you. It's not like in civil, whereby a private citizen is going to sue you, and then you will be casing against that private ci citizen. Now in this year, it is the government that is going to sue you. It is the government that you will be casing against. Like Sai, just right in the next last in the last one hour, uh, we have this case in Kwe Kiendelea, Ya Jackie Maribe and Joey Rongo, isn't it? You remember about the, the lady who was called Monica. The court has just declared Jack, Jack Jackie, uh, uh, Joey guilty. Joey murdered Monica. Even though the judgment in the other side. Also, the one was Jackie Maribe. I may be able to So she has gone. But as it just gives the whole judgment, so we'll listen, we'll look at the whole judgment later on. I'll tell you some occasion for Gazette. It has uniquely serious potential and consequences. It has uniquely serious potential and consequences. All sanctions for failure to abide by its rules. So if you don't abide by criminal law, if you don't abide by the things that have been prohibited in the criminal law, things that you have been told not to do, if you do them, they have serious consequences. They include what? Life in imprisonment. You can also be hanged. What else can happen to you? You can be jailed for not less than 16 years, 18 years, 20 years. You can even be jailed for a lifetime. Hello. So, but it, it all depends with the action that you have coming or the crime you have coming. You have committed. Crime. Crime, this is an unlawful act or omission which offends against the state or an individual. It is an unlawful act or event against the public or an individual. Or the public at large. At large. Parties to a crime. So, we have parties to a crime. Uh, 
when you talk about superintendents of claim, uh, we have one is the principal. Uh, we have another pattern that is accomplice. Accomplice. Another party is uh, accessory before the fact. Accessory before the fact. Uh, another one is accessory after fact. After fact. So who can help us define these ones? Anybody? Anyone who can help us define? Principal, this is the person who actually commits crime. The person who commits the act. Person who commits act. This is the criminal now. Person who commits the act. Accomplice. Accomplice. Is your friend indeed that guy who helped you commit the crime? This is the person to assist another to commit a crime. A crime. The person who helped you commit that crime, we call him an accomplice. An accomplice. The person who helped you steal. The person who helped you get out of class. The person who helped you do what? What did you do? Which crime have you committed? Anybody here who has ever committed a crime? We won't stand. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Accessory before the fact. Accessory before the fact. Accessory before the fact. Uh, it is a person who orders a crime to be committed or helps the principal to commit the crime, but he is not present. Accessory before the fact. This is the boss. The one who ordered you to go commit a crime, a crime. On the person who knew about the crime, but did not participate, he was not present at the crime, but he is the one who ordered you to commit the crime. This is who we are calling accessory before fact. Accessory after the fact. Accessory after fact. This is the person who knows that the crime has been committed, helps the principal escape capture. This is you helping the principal escape car. Capture. Accessory after the fact. So, this is the criminal. This is the person who helps the criminal. This is the person who orders the criminal to commit the act. This is the person who helps the criminal to escape after committing the, the heinous act. Uh, the next item I want us to look at is principles used to enforce criminal law. Principles used to enforce criminal law. Principles.